Idaho is the most boring state. According Shocking to, to nobody. <laughs> according to Zipia. Okay, here's Ever the heard thing. of that website? <laughs> Me neither. It's probably great if you're an avid outdoorsman who loves to do all of the fishing and hunting and rock climbing and hiking and crap like that, uh, or skiing, but for, <laughs> you know, the rest of us. Right. Well, and, and here's why. Population of over 1.89 million, mm -hmm. over 83,570 square miles. There are roughly 22.11 people per square mile of land. Oh, okay, which gives Idaho the seventh lowest population density in the country. Which I think is kind of nice. So the reason we're boring is, ain't nobody here. <laughs> That's fair. That said, it should be noted that Idaho is considered the fifth best state to live in. Yeah. So combining those two factors... Is is that what most people want? Is a nice, boring place to live? Well, you know, that's the thing. Does I boring think mean so. quality of life? Is there a well? I kind of think so. Because I mean, okay, living in California is probably very exciting. I would say I would categorize being chased down by a meth head exciting, but certainly mm. not pleasant. <laughs> well, in Disneyland and. Universal right. Studios in Hollywood. Right. But, but I'm just saying that, like, Hollywood. realistically, yeah, maybe it's more exciting, but those exciting events aren't necessarily fun right. or pleasurable. <laughs> right. You know, I gotcha. would much rather be bored than have horrible things happening to keep things exciting. Yeah. I, I want to get my cardio, but I don't want to be chased by zombies. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right. And and here's the <laughs> we're number one. Mm. We're number one. Here's the map. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Okay. Now I will say that when I was a teenager, the joke that I made a lot was, "Yeah, there's not a lot to do in Idaho but meth. <laughs> That's why we have so many." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which I do still think is kind of true, especially you know, if you I, don't want to go out and spend money. <laughs> <laughs> you try once. Well, shut up, Mike. Not even once. You know this. <laughs> You've seen the billboards. Oh, the marketing. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like. <laughs> The, I will say that those are effective billboards. Yeah. I would never, <laughs> not once. I'm too vain to do meth, I think. Right. I don't want same. the teeth and the wrinkles and the <sighs> pock marks on my skin. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, and also I feel like even when people recover from meth, they still sometimes have meth face. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, like it, you can just tell. Once you age forward, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of help getting back. Right, yeah. right. But anyway, um. Yeah, I feel like in general, unless you're willing to go out and spend money, it is kind of hard to find stuff to do around town. I've definitely gotten better about that in the last year, um, just because. Well, in doing this show, like yeah. we're we're more mindful of the activities mm -hmm. happening here in East Idaho. Oh, let's right. go to that. Sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, you find your fun where you make it. Right. I completely agree with that. Not only that, but I do feel like we like as a community have worked really hard to add stuff to it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've got like the art walk, the farmer's market, uh, even like auditorium just did their, uh, what's it called? The youth jam, the that roaring youth jam, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's a free event to go to too. And it was super fun and there was stuff for kids to do. You know, I will say if you're not a parent, there's maybe not as much to do around here. If you're just a youngin. You know, yeah. probably not a lot to do. <laughs> and that that's another thing that um, makes Idaho boring is 55% of people are married. 35% yeah. of Idahoans have children. Yep. So if you're in the 45% that's single, where do you go? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? How do you meet people? Yeah. Well, especially if you're not someone who goes to bars, you know, that gets rid of basically all of the nightlife here in town. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I know some single friends who are like, I, I don't know how to meet people. There's mm -hmm. bars and there's church. Or there's Tinder. <laughs> and, yeah, right. That's and oftentimes <laughs> you don't want to go to either of those places. Right, right. Necessarily. <laughs> yeah. Or there's Tinder, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to meet your partner in a bar or in church, I don't know where you go. <laughs> I think I think what you do, I've given this some thought. Mm -hmm. You work on Oh, your... really? You're thinking about going out and finding someone? No. <laughs> I think that a single, because I've been single a few times in my life. I get it. And I think that the thing you got to do is work on yourself. Yeah. And when you work on yourself, you get to know yourself a little bit better, mm -hmm. your interests, go out and do things you enjoy doing. Right. And eventually, you're going to meet a like-minded individual. I completely agree. I actually had a single friend asking me like what she should do, and I was like, dude, pick up a new hobby. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's exactly the move. Do you. Work yeah. on yourself. Yeah. Now, that can be kind of tricky if that hobby tends to, you know, only get people of the same sex. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you're into that, which is great. Then it's a perfect hobby for you. But you know, if you're if your hobby is crocheting and you're a chick, 
probably aren't going to be a lot of dudes in your crocheting circle. Right. You know, but if you find one, do, maybe he's the one. Do dudes go to <laughs> yoga? Oh, yeah. I mean, man buns are a thing. Okay. Of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be a. Fr- I'm so afraid to do yoga. Really? Because I'm afraid of farting. <laughs> Honestly, I totally get that. And that's yeah. part of the reasons I don't like you doing yoga. Right. Although I should probably take it up because it's like good for you and stuff. I guess. I just always thought it was kind of boring, mm-hmm. you know, but. But you're doing that downward dog and mm-hmm. or your legs up in the air and the instructor's pushing on them. Well, yeah, there's like literally. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's literally a pose that's something like um, escaping wind yeah. or something like that. The escaping wind pose. I don't uh-huh. remember what it's called, but yeah, it's like meant to make you fart. It sounds like a balloon animal yes. asking a question. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those uh, TikTok trends? I just saw one like yesterday where it was people doing the like fart exercise on their dogs. Have you, okay. You know what the fart exercise is? No. So basically if you have a, a kid or someone who's all bloaty and they can't too, mm-hmm. you bicycle their legs a little bit, pull them out and then push them in and it's supposed to make them fart. Okay. Yeah. And someone was doing that with their dog and the dog farted and they looked so surprised. Uh, <laughs> like they jumped right up and were like looking around. Was like, that me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But kind of funny. I've always heard the face down ass up. That's the way we like to <laughs> fart. I've heard that. I can't even figure out what the actual word would be there. Well, Google two oh. live crew. Okay, wait, never mind. I figured it out. <laughs>